Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. So, many of you have gotten the 737-600 and are wondering why the navigation data is not updating when you are installing the Navigraph IRAC update. Now, the reason for that is fairly simple. The 737-600 is treated as a different product from the 737-700, so it's using a different file path. We can see it over here in the community folder that the 737-700 and 737-600 are using a separate folder structure. So Navigraph has issued a statement that they don't support the 600 yet and that it will take some time to adapt the NEV data center to the new product. Now basically all it needs to do is detect the new aircraft folder and then paste the files in here in the uh, configuration folder. However, until that is done, I'm going to show you a trick how you can copy the navigation data from the 737-700 into the 737-600. Now, what I am not 100% sure about, you would have to ask in the Navigraph forum, is if you can trick their navigation data manager somehow into detecting the 737-600 as an installed 700. And uh, that would possibly be an option for those of you who do not own the 700, but only the 600. And for now, I can only guesstimate if this is possible or not. But my very best guess would be just to take the folder of the 600 here, rename it from 736 to 737, then run the, Nav the Navigraph installer, and then once the Navigraph file is finished, change it back to 736. However, that is totally unsupported, so this may or may not work. In case it does not work, I cannot give you any kind of support, and neither can Navigraph. So in that case, your only option is going to be to uninstall the 737, delete any remains of the folder in question, and then reinstall it again from scratch. Now, that's said and done, let's get to the copying of the necessary files themselves. Basically, the file structure used by the 737-6 and 700s are exactly the same. The only difference is that small number in the folder name up here. So what you need to do, you go into PMDG Aircraft 737, you find that one within your community folder. So the location of the community folder can be different depending on your installation. For example, on my computer it's located on the D drive and there in community. However, that may be different on your computer, so be sure to find the correct folder on your computer. From here on, you're going into PMDG Aircraft 737, config, and in here you have two files, NAV data and SID stars. The NAV data folder, I recommend you just to copy it, go into back into community, PMDG Aircraft 736, config, Delete the enough data folder that you have in here, and then paste the folder from the 737-700 into the 737-600. From here we're going on back into the 737-700 config. Then we have the folder SID stars. Now, note that this one is written with only the S of SID and the S of stars in capital letters, while in the 737-600 it is actually written completely in capital letters. So, just to be in the safe side and not to change any of the folder names that uh, PMDG has given, we'll go into the SID stars folder, then mark all the files that we have available in here. Note that it is quite a lot of files, it's basically one file for every single airport there is. That is the reason why the nav data installation takes a little bit of time as well. We just have to uh, find and mark them all. So, once you have them all marked, once again, copy, then go back to the community folder, PMDG Aircraft 736, config, set stars, then mark them all. Easiest is to press the Control A key, press the delete key, and from here on, once they are deleted, this is going to take a while since this is quite a large amount of files. Once they are deleted, we are going to paste the new files into it and then we are done already. Now, that's set and done. Before you start deleting anything, be sure that you are making backups that, of course, affect both the SID star folder as well as the NAV data folder. 
So you want to make backups of both of them before you actually start doing this. In case anything goes wrong with your installation, just revert back to the original files and be aware that this is an unsupported modification, so this may or may not work. Personally, I've done this all over during the uh, course of the beta, provided that I have not been doing any actual navigation data tests, which would require everybody to be on the same nav data. But provided I didn't have to do this, I always in the inserted the uh, most current data from the 737-700 into the 600, and thereby had the latest data available. If you like this tutorial, there is a small donation link from uh, buymeacoffee.com available in the video description below. And whether you would rather like to go for your own coffee in order to survive your next early morning or late night flight, or if you think that uh, my videos are worth it, I still hope that you've enjoyed this one and I'm looking forward to see you all in the virtual skies. Thank you very much for watching and see you all again soon.